Some breaking news out of Englewood. The unified school district there announcing five schools will close at the end of the 2024-2025 school year. The superintendent says it's all in the numbers, shrinking student population for too many campuses. Fox 11's Susan Harasuna joins us live in Englewood with reaction from the community, and we see those community members out there in force tonight. Yes, indeed. So a number of these parents and the students came out because they wanted to listen to the online announcement together. And then afterwards, I heard many a person say it's just so sad and shaking their head. But again, what the superintendent had to say was when you have a shrinking student population, there are just too many campuses to serve them. And for a better school experience, you need to put them into the fewer campuses, the better campuses. And the time for action is now. For these reasons, I am announcing the planned closure of the following school. Crozier Junior High School. Inglewood Superintendent James Morris makes the announcement Campus. many parents didn't want to hear. They stood outside the district office to listen to Morris's online speech together. We need to close some schools to remain competitive improve instruction, and repair the schools that will stay open. The schools are Crozier Junior High, Hudnall TK through 6 School, Highland TK through 6 School, Morningside High, and Kelso TK through 6 School. Dr. Morris says the shrinking number of students would change the school experience. In order to provide the best program, you're right, and it's not just about what happens during the school day. It's clubs and activities and sports and opportunities for band and enrichment. We have to be able to provide that for all of our kids and with 222 students we can't offer a viable high school program that might be true but it's still heartbreaking for this morningside high alum for me being alumni of morningside it does not make sense to remove a school i feel bad for everybody else but i'm just like there's only two schools high schools and they're about to close one of ours and it's it's unfair. The district is paying more than two million dollars each year to pay for the poor fiscal management that put the district into state receivership in 2012. Tradisha Dixon says there's a solution coming. We've actually gone above his head and we're organizing on a state level with our bill, the California Public School Sovereignty Act. Since we have built momentum with our bill. It's like they're rushing to close the schools now. They're trying to beat us before we can get our bill passed and get them out. Well, Dixon is talking about this effort to get the school district back into local control out of the state receivership. But until that happens, the district says, look, we just have to make these tough decisions now. Uh, it will give parents and students some time to make uh, school considerations before they jump at the end of the 25, 24, 25 school year. Meantime, there was some good news. The superintendent announced a $200, $200 million remodel of Inglewood High School and also a bridge that would connect Inglewood's library to both high schools, Inglewood High and also uh, the uh, Honors High School. Reporting live in Inglewood, Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.